Hello, in today's video, I will show you the easy way to deploy ASP.NET Core Web API into AWS Lambda. Please subscribe my channel. With your support, I will do it better. First, let us create a Lambda function. Choose the author from scratch. Type my function as the function name. Select .NET 8 as the runtime. Choose x86 underscore 64 for the architecture. Open up the change default execution role section and make sure select create a new role with basic Lambda permissions. Leave everything as default and click on create function button. Now the new Lambda function was created successfully. Let us open Visual Studio 2022 and create the ASP.NET Core Web API, and then deploy into this Lambda function with Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Project to create a new ASP.NET Core Web API. Type API Demo as the project name and click on Next. Select .NET 8.0 as the framework. Leave anything by default and click on Create. Expand the controllers folder. Click on Weather Forecast Controller file. Press Control and F5 to build and run the project to make sure the project works as the expectation before deploy it into AWS. The new browser window is open. It shows the API definition page. Copy the controller name and paste it in the URL to test the API. It returns the JSON string. Show the date and temperature. Now, we will publish this project to AWS Lambda function, but please make sure that you already installed the AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio 2022. We need to follow these three steps to make the changes in our project before we can deploy it. First, add the new statement AWS project type to project file. Second, install this new NuGet package to the project. Third, add a new services AWS Lambda hosting to program file. Let us copy the statement AWS project type. Control C. Go back to Visual Studio. Right click on the project file. Select edit project file. Press Control V to paste that statement here. Control S to save it. Then close it. Second step, install this new package. Copy the package name. Right click to open the main NuGet Packages page. Search the package name. Make sure you select the latest version and install it. Last step, add the new services AWS Lambda hosting to program file. Finally, rebuild the project to make sure it still works after we did the changes. It rebuilt successfully. Look, everything is good. Let us publish it. Right click on project file. Select publish to AWS Lambda menu item. If you cannot see this option, that means you still haven't installed the AWS toolkit. Click on it. The upload to AWS Lambda dialog box open. Choose the Lambda function that we created before from the redeploy to existing dropdown. Type the project name in the handler text box. This is very important. Make sure you type the correct project name there. Select Release and Net 8.0, and then click on Next button. Leave everything by default, and click on Upload button. It will take few seconds. Now it uploaded successfully.
Go back to AWS console page. Click on functions. Refresh the page. You will see the zip file was uploaded 12 seconds ago. In order to access the Lambda function from browser, we need to create the API gateway. Search API gateway in the search box. Click on it. We have to build the REST API gateway. Click on Build button. Make sure select the new API. For API name, you can use any name that you want. Click on Create API button. We have to create a resource. The resource name should be our controller name weather forecast. Copy the controller name from the source code and paste it in the resource name. Click on Create Resource button. Now, we have to create the HTTP method to access the API. Click on Create Method button. For method type, it depends on your API. Since we use HTTP GET, we have to select GET from the method type dropdown. Make sure check the Lambda function for the integration type. Don't forget turn on Lambda proxy integration switch. It is very important. And then select our Lambda function in the search box. Leave everything by default. Click on Create Method button. Method GET was successfully created. Let's click on the Test tab to test it before we deploy it to the stage. Click on Test button. You will see it returns the JSON string to show date and temperature. It looks good. Finally, deploy it to the stage so we can access it from the browser. Click on Deploy API button. Select New Stage and drop down. Type Dev to Stage Name to create the Dev environment. We can also create Test, Staging, and Prod environments. Click on Deploy. Dev Stage was successfully created. Copy the Invoke URL and paste it in browser. Copy the controller name and append to invoke URL, hit enter. It returns the JSON string to show the date and temperature. You can compare it with the one from my local host. Refresh the browser. It will show the same date with different temperature. That's all for today. I hope you like it. Thank you for watch.